In the shadow of the rebel army's front line, Kibati camp, a sprawling mess of more than 50,000 hungry, tired and homeless people who fled the advancing forces and the looting, rape and murder that advancing forces bring. After a decade of on and off conflict which has left five million dead, these people have grown used to life on the run. The rebel warlords camped on hills just seven kilometers up the road, this man told me. There's no way we can go home. People here are fearful, terrified, he said. Yet many did set off from here today, taking advantage of a ceasefire and taking an enormous risk to run the gauntlet, going back across the front line because conditions in Kibati are unendurable. No food, no toilets, nothing. The lull has allowed some humanitarian relief to start again today, but many here feel it's the lull before the storm. Those who dare not leave hide from ferocious squalls in makeshift shelters, whole families under plastic sheets propped up by school desks. And in the school itself, they're crammed into classrooms whose teachers have fled. They share floor space with their animals. And still they continue to emerge from the bush, loaded down, very stressed and weary, terrorized by the rebels, preyed on by government soldiers, let down by the world in the guise of the United Nations. There are refugees streaming up and down this road to and from the camp and Goma. The people of eastern Congo know more about war and displacement than just 